PTG, Proxy Table Gaming. I'm Hyper G. Lucky Sixes is present. What up, dog? I'm not going to say anything about cats. I prefer cats. You know this. We've done this before. Crack on. So. <laughs> and you know who else is a cat? Tom Clues. Oh! He is. He is. He's, he's a cat that I keep on coming back to. Because it is my round one Art of War 666. Mm. Uh, and I, I've been drawn randomly against Tom Clues, who you I have. fought in round one in a Cardiff tournament yes. not so long ago. Um, so yeah, old enemies back together. Friends in between, but enemies on the table, obviously. Always. Um, yeah. But, so yeah, there's recent history. It was the first time I played him then. Because um, I was on a run of playing new people at that point, so now um, old news playing him again. Um, but yeah, um, that time we drew ten ten. I was Saurians, he was Warriors. Um, I change out my army, so surely being OP orcs in this tournament, I should improve on my ten ten. Push you over the edge. against him. Yeah, because yeah. I mean war- Warriors don't really change; they're just the same army every time, right? So you know, mm. no- nothing changes. It's Tom Clues and it's Warriors. It's exactly the same. The only thing that's changed is me. So. Surely, with an OP army, what can go wrong? Absolutely. Um, yeah, so he is Warriors. Um, and this be my Orc and Goblin list for Out of War, which you've seen in a few practice games. Um, yes. I've changed it here and there as I go, uh, but I'll run through it really quickly um, for those who might be joining us for the tournament. So, uh, starting from the top, Orc Shaman, Wizard Master Shaman is a magical heirloom rod of battle. Six spells on him. Nice. Mm. Um, I, I don't really go anywhere without Rod of Battle and I've stuck on Magical Heirloom because the her- the Orc spell is really, really good. Um, yeah, uh, then I've got the Orc Warlord who is known as... Oh, oh God. Gr- <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> Not Grimgore, Gromgore. Gromgore. Yes. Gromgore. Um, but he didn't do very well in his practice game last week. No. Um, You're saving it for the big, bigger case. Yes. Absolutely. So, yeah, he's on a Grunter still. He needed that Grunter to flee the battlefield last time. Um, play armor, paired weapons, touch of greatness, because I prefer the strength six always rather than the uh, omen of the apocalypse, personally. And it's cheaper. Uh, five up, ward, Aegis, um, and potion swiftness for some speed. Uh, Goblin Witch on a beastie chariot with witchcraft. He's got an extra channel and lightning bomb braces, which is a late addition lightning bomb braces, just to get an extra hand of heaven, an extra missile in turn one, basically. Uh, then I've got the Goblin, Goblin Demagogue pet on a pet monster. He's in with the trolls. And I've given him now heavy armor with death cheater and lucky charm, which makes him two up, one time rerollable, and a four up fortitude, which means he's pretty much as tanky as the trolls that he goes with. Which because mm-hmm. previously, whenever I've had the trolls go into combat, they're just like, I don't want to attack distracting fortitude four up trolls, so I'll just attack the demagogue. Well, now he's two up armor with a reroll and four up fortitude as well, mm. one less resilience, but he's he's still pretty tough. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've, I've kind of evened out the score with the unit he's with, um, basically. Obviously, if anything's got flaming attacks, then I'm in trouble with that unit. But hey, uh, we'll see. Uh, two big blocks of. Orcs, one veteran, one ferals. Uh, the ferals have got the banner of Lent's company because they just run forward to die and kill <laughs> on their way through. Uh, then 10 feral orc marauders, full command. That's just a scoring unit on fours, um, as always. Uh, then 15 veteran orc marauders. They're the real real killers in the army, I guess, really, with a banner of speed, big boss pole for a 15 inch BSB. Um, and the Ed Bashers rule, so they're bodyguard with the with Gromgor with them. So, yeah, pretty, pretty. Ricky. Nice. Already mentioned yeah. the bridge trolls with the distracting. Uh, two goblin chariots. I've taken off the goblin demagogue on a chariot and just gone with two normal goblin chariots. Mm. Um, it just got a bit complicated being able to like charge certain models out and things like that. And so basically, I've just made it a bit simpler for me to remember and work out. Yeah. Uh, and saved a few points here and there as well. Uh, an iron orc chariot, which has just been performing so well in all, all, all games I've been playing him. Um, so much so that even before this tournament, I want another Iron Knot Chariot in my collection. Is um, it How much so, is it for, to make him a champion? Uh, you can't make a single guy a champion on his own. Ah. You've got to have two in order to bring a champion. Okay. champion. Um, Fair otherwise, enough. yes, I would have done. Hmm. Um, yep, there is that. Uh, ten Gogtuck Neophytes, your favourite unit of all time. Uh, let's see how they get on in this tournament. 
<laughs> uh, two wrecking teams because everyone has wrecking teams, obviously. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's my list for Le Tournoir. Uh, let's see what clues he brings, and is it different to what he brought to Cardiff last time? Is it different in any way, <laughs> shape, or form? <laughs> oh, it's a little bit different. Yeah, a little bit different. <laughs> A little bit different. He got away with a dragon. <laughs> he didn't have that last time. Where's he hatched that from? I know. Very cool. Yeah. And two elders Brilliant. as well. So he's going the big, the big yeah. beasties. He's going for the big beasties. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the chosen lord's pretty tanked up with trophy rack. And, well, I say tanked up. He probably could be more. Well, you know, he hasn't got that many items really. But trophy rack is decent, obviously. Um, the the shield is he, is because he comes with it. That's not he's not. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't affect the the, the dragon. No. <laughs> Shoot the dragon, damn it! Um, shield. Sorcerer, adept, evocation, play armor, uh, pretty bricky with an extra um, spell and rod of battle. So rocking four spells, only four spells, mm. though. So not not a lot. But evocation is just exactly what warriors need. So you know, pretty good. Uh, Lust Warriors, 20 of them um, Relentless Company, so they can move forward as well Some Barb Horsemen and some Warhounds They're the chappy things um, Chosen Knights, also on Lust um, Lust is basically, they can flee Isn't it? Um, and is it minimise Tests? Or is that it used to be Strider And it's not um, um, but Feign, it's feign flight. Withdrawal as well feign feign flight. Flight. Yeah. Well, yeah, So it's not Minimized, but then there's a lot of minimized going around anyway. Mm. Stuff, stuff. Uh, Feldrax uh, with great weapons, um, banner of discipline, um, they're scoring as well. Uh, nine warrior knights with a good old one up armor save, which is incredible. Um, Lance and Lust, and two Feldrax others, which we've mentioned. So, yeah, this is, there's yeah. a few differences to what he brought last time. Um, and yeah, we'll see how we go. Let's see what we did. Um, it was Dawn Assault, um, so we had a corner missing. Um, and capture the flags asterisk as you asterisk. like to put it because it was yeah. a it was a fun scenario the rifts betwixt us um, really good job by Dan and etc for coming up with these scenarios yeah basically it was just Dawn Assault capture the flags with an extra Wrath of God Wrath of God it didn't yeah. didn't really appear in your match it kind of threatened to do something at the, at the end, end but yeah. then then didn't really and we'll yeah. see what happens with me Okay, so here is deployment. Um, yeah, it's, it always gives me a little bit of a buzz seeing this opening picture of deployment um, <laughs> with any any tournament. Yeah, uh, I've it. got the, tr the trolls with the goblin demagogue pet monster on the left hand side. Then the wrecking team, one wrecking team, goblin chariots. The one with the big um, banner is playing as the um, adept goblin adept. Uh, FYI, that gets broken later in the tournament, so probably mm. not worth mentioning really. Um, then there's the 10 Feral Orcs. Uh, then I've got the Marauders with uh, Gromgor in there with them. Uh, the Feral Orcs are in front of the Veteran Orcs. The Shaman's in with the Veteran Orcs holding back at the moment because it is Capture the Flag, so I need to be a little bit careful about my scoring. Uh, wrecking Team, and um, there is the Iron Orc Chariot holding the flank. Uh, speaking of that flank, though, I decided to keep that corner empty. Um He's got his dragon, wasting dragon right out right the at back. the top. Yeah, you know what his game is, he, and he did drop for first. Um, so there was that. Um, then he's got an ancestor. Then he's got Feldrax, who were borrowed from Tony. Um, so that's hmm. that's why they are slightly different colours to the rest of Tom's army. Uh, then he's got the Warhounds, I think, uh, followed by Chosen Knights going into the left. Um, then the Warriors, the Last Warriors. Then the Barb Horsemen. Um, I don't know where his sorcerer is starting. His sorcerer might be stood behind the chosen knights because they can't be seen. He can't be mm. seen sure. behind them. Um, then he's got the warrior knights because I think normally I thought they were going to go in the warrior knights, but he didn't. He just hid the sorcerer instead. And then he's got another fell drag on the hill. And yeah, so scoring wise, we've got a decent amount of scoring each. Um, yeah. Tom did drop for first turn. Um, and immediately oh the chariot is not on the hill the chariot is where the arc marker is i see yeah um, sure so you know because obviously these these hills are quite beefy and you couldn't balance things on them um so immediately i i kind of especially considering he dropped for first like i kind of could have deployed the iron chariot a bit better in terms hmm. of keeping it in line of sight but i was thinking to myself when this was playing out and clues he was getting out of line of sight of this i'm thinking to myself should i kick myself about this or am I actually going to charge a dragon with a single iron chariot? Probably not, if I'm honest. 
remember. Um, has, has he got the distracting? I uh, don't think so. Don't think yeah. so. I don't know. That might be the zombie. Um, that might be the zombie. But yeah, yeah I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah. yeah. Street but, strength but, five. Yeah, maybe it would have made Cozy think twice and not get as many much ground forward. Yeah. So, you know, even if I wasn't ever going to charge it, maybe I should have deployed a bit better to stop the dragon getting so far forward. Uh, but anywho, done now. Usual usual mistake from me. <laughs> uh, I hate flying creatures. I just hate them. <laughs> <laughs> they always do one over on me. Other than that, he moves quite tentatively forward. And thinking of my game plan, I, I remember when we drew 10-10 in our previous battle. And I also remember previous games I've had against Warriors where they tend to play it relatively tight early doors and then go hard all at once and get a lot of points all at once. And I didn't want to play the game that suits the Warriors. I wanted mm. to force things. So sure. seeing him move up quite tentatively like this Made me think, yeah, he's just going to do this whole little pitter-patter yeah. around thing, keep things on the board, get into a nice position, ready to pull the trigger. And I was like, I'm not going to play that game. So immediately I was thinking, I'm going to force this on the Warriors. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll see if I do that um, in, in a moment. Um, in yeah, a very quick moment, because it's straight on. Oh, to... yes. Yes, there was Good very time. little magic from uh, Cluzy, because he had basically... Um, the um, minus one resilience and discipline spell, yeah. uh, rerolls to hit, rerolls to wound, and a plus one to hit. So it was all pretty combatty. So there wasn't any magic and no shooting. So yeah. Um, I managed to get the Iron Orc Chariot off the hill, um, behind the hill. Um, but it was funny, actually, because Shane, um, Shane Shepard, who was in my March for Victory team um, back, back last year, he came over. And I, he, I was literally just working out whether I could get the Iron Orc Chariot off the hill. And I was pitifully, stupidly trying to move it backwards and seeing if I had enough room. And Shane was like, can't you just pivot and move all the way forward and then pivot back? And I was like, yeah, I probably shouldn't really be taking advice <laughs> like that because that's absolutely how I can get the Iron Old Chariot behind the hill. Um, I don't know whether Cluzy was bothered by that, but yes, I haven't worked it out <laughs> myself because <laughs> I was stupid and forgetting I could just pivot twice. Um, but yes, he was able to pivot backwards, move all the way back, then pivot back to face the front. Obviously, he can't, I can't zone anything with the chariot because I'm right down mm. the hill. But it did mean the dragon couldn't charge and leapfrog into other things. So there's that. Yeah. Uh, the wrecking team here didn't go very far, um, which somewhat got in the way of my plan to um, run at him. Because <laughs> my yeah. feral orcs with their relentless banner couldn't really run at him. <laughs> um <laughs> Arguably, I shouldn't have put the wrecking team in the path of the feral orcs, um, but I was I was almost certain that those warhounds were going to come forward and just stand on it. Sure. So I didn't really think it was that important until it landed hardly far forward and blocked my ferals. But mm, yeah. anyway, yeah. Other than that, I I am aware of the veteran orc marauders having to face off against this forest before they make a charge. And I was a bit interested in which way was I going to go with them. So, okay. yeah, it, it was a little bit like, hmm, what, how am I going to force this if, if the warriors don't give me any obvious path to get into them? And so, yeah, despite saying I was going to go really aggressive and stuff, this is relatively tentative in turn one. And that was partially also because I had um, a couple of missiles in, in my repertoire. Sure, you've got the range. Yeah. I've got the range, so I didn't have to force things. Um, the wrecking team on the other side moves forward, keeping the trolls back a little bit. Um, and it looks like I got the wheel turns on these guys. Um, I think it was because the warrior knights on the hill could declare charges, and they're pretty good. Um, and I wanted to just um, keep things back. But also I wanted Evil Eye off um, on, on my Marauders. Um, yes, which I, which I got. Um, so that was that was the main reason for that spell, witchcraft spell, really. Um, I don't think I do any range damage. Maybe, maybe no. Don't, I didn't take a picture of it, so we'll see if anything's missing later on. Mm. Um, but absolutely, um, Cluzy does what I expect him to and moves up the warhounds to destroy the wrecking team. He moves it in such a way that he's like wheeling onto it and hoping that maybe one or two of these warhounds survives to block the veteran marauders. Um, they don't. They all die. 
Um, so that is that. Um, and he continues to move up with the dragon around the flank, which obviously is something I can't really do a lot about now. <laughs> you know, um, arguably I haven't actually got anything over on that side that could have done anything about it anyway. Um, but the dragon's so maneuverable, you know, flying things yeah. just maneuver, don't they? So, you know, um, can't do much about that. Um, and yeah, this is how Cluzy moves with his Veldrax, Veldrax ancestor. Is it ancestor? No, elder. Elder. Yeah. yeah, Elder. Um, and the, the Chosen Knight's keeping back. And this was, again, relatively tentative with his whole line. In fact, yeah. the everything on the left flank just sort of moves back or moves out. Um, and, yeah, I'm thinking to myself, yeah, he's creating these charge lines, um, but he's not coming at me. And I need to I need to make sure that I do this so that I've got time to get the fights I want. Hmm. And so... <laughs> I declare a war cry um, and um, go for it, basically. Um, I throw caution to the wind in the forest um, for my veteran armor orders and decide that I can declare a charge on the Lust Warriors. And despite the fact that they could flee, Clozy, de Clozy decided to hold. He did weigh up the option of fleeing, um, um, but but decided um, not to. Um he was thinking, you know, can he keep steadfast? Um, mm, sure, with all those counter charge and veteran, or and then counter charge with his chosen knights and all sorts. I was thinking, I can prevent him getting steadfast. Um, he has got um, spectral blades for reroll to wounds off, and mm. I think he got it with the lethal strike version. So it is okay. a little bit scary yeah. um, for a three up armor unit um, when he's only actually AP one. Um, you know, on, he's sword on, and on board, is he? Sword and board, yeah. Okay. Um, so he's only string four AP one, um, but lethal strike obviously does make it a little bit scarier. Um, but I was still thinking I can kill enough of him to power through this and potentially overrun past the chosen knights and and then reset my line. I mean, I needed quite a way on the charges, um, but in order to maximize my chances of getting through that lust warrior unit. I decided to make an 11-inch charge into the Feldrak Elder with my Feral Orcs as well, um, purely to give plus one attack to all of my Veteran Orc Marauders in their fight against the sure. Veteran Orc Marauders, against the Lust Warriors. Yeah. Um, I didn't really expect the Ferals would do much to the Elders Elder, because I was going to be wounding on sixes, um, and I would very quickly lose any kind of weapon that they had. But I did have numbers, so I was hoping to... Like engage sure. that side of the board to stop it being a problem for my yeah. veteran orcs. Um, that was the thinking behind it, anyway. And yeah, with a war cry, I made both. <laughs> <Hey>! <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So yeah, the aggression is on, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I lost two in the forest to mm -hmm. the um, dangerous terrain, which is not too bad. Not too bad at all, really. I mean, Evil Eye helped in the in the charging thing. Um, but I think they only needed like an eight or a nine. To set Double swift stride as well is exactly. It was always, but the single swift stride with the ferals was great. Getting an eleven, mm. um, just to see whether or not I've weighed up the odds right, really. Um, and yeah, we'll we'll see what happens. Um, elsewhere in movement, movementtrade.com dot com helping out with my mm, <laughs> my markers yes. here, um, looking very good. Um, I abandoned ship with my shaman um, so that he's standing behind the veteran orcs and they face the dragon. I know full well that the dragon can chew through those veteran orcs. But what I'm thinking is I might be able to stay steadfast for a little bit. Um, you know, it's still a little bit... The general has of... just zoomed off. <laughs> well, there is that. And, and the BSB. So, yeah. and I am <laughs> minus one discipline from Terra. So, yeah, it was going to be this. like a, a swift stride. Right. A swift stride minimized seven is what I would need in that combat, unless my champion died, by which point it would be down to a minimized six. So, even throwing the champion into a challenge is it's not necessarily ideal when he's your source of discipline seven. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. So yeah, I was a little bit like, oh, what do I do about this? There is something I should have done, but we'll talk about that later. Um, the Ionoc chariot moves past the dragon on that slank as well. Um, 
No, oh, sorry. Yeah, just go back a second. I'll talk about the left flank. The left flank, I decide not to pull the trigger because I need all my magic in that middle combat, yeah. basically. Um, and speaking of the middle combat, oh, God. Ooh. God. So it does look like you did uh, eight, yeah, nine wounds. I think, yeah, I, I broke steadfast. If, well, I did and break steadfast. And then he re got, regained yeah. it. Yeah. Well, I, I don't think he actually has regained it. Has he? Oh, no, he has. He has got two ranks there, yeah. The issue was. I just died. He just mm. killed me. Mm. And no matter... I got wheel turns off on on him so that he was wounding me on... on no, I think he was hitting me on fours. Okay, yeah, sure. Because... Um, yeah, yeah. Because he was wounding me on fours anyway. Um, strength mm -hmm. four. Res four. So that wouldn't have helped for the wounding part. You got but plus it, one to hit? I got plus one to hit. He has got re-rolled to wound. And... My lord, my Brongor, who was under a bit under a review because he, he didn't do overly well in the last one. Yeah. Six attacks because of um, the feral orcs being in combat, hitting on twos, wounding on twos, leaving only a six up armor save. I expected him to do more than two wounds. Sure, <laughs> I thought that's that should that's be reasonable. three or four. A reasonable to assume. <laughs> Yeah, and he only did two wounds. And I was a little bit disappointed by that. Mm. And then my guys go... Um, actually, technically, he went first. So I was going to say, does he actually attacks. go first? Yeah, yeah that, that, that's the issue there. Um, and and yeah, he he was hitting me on fours. Um, then he was wounding me on fours, re-rollable with lethal strike. And oh, the lethal strike just decimated yeah. me. But also, I didn't roll a single four-up armor save. Mm. I don't think, on the ones that I didn't have lethal strike against me. So it was really frustrating. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't think that's a terrible charge to make. I honestly don't. Not with that um, magic as well. So he's hitting on fours no. and on fours with yeah. what, 15 attacks? 15 attacks. So yeah, so you should hit eight times, wound four times, re-rollable six. One of them should be lethal strike. He's wounded me uh, five others. I should save half of them. So I should lose four. Is what I think the average. I mean, is if sure. if your lord only did two, <laughs> the boys actually did all right. Yeah, the remaining boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, they did because um, they were hitting on threes as well. Um, mm. You know, getting through parry, um, uh, and they were wounding on twos, with leaving only six up armor saves. So they 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 brought it back in. And I don't mm. flee, so you know I hold as well. I don't know who actually. Sure. Did, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I think I just win, but he's he holds because he's got yeah yeah got no problems there. But yeah, I was a bit like ah. Oh, this isn't going to go well now because this is my big unit. And we know what happened against John Turner when my big unit went on a tear in round one, tried to force things. And am I repeating the same mistakes? Uh, Let's find out. The good thing <laughs> is you've got less bodies to lose and yes, your Lord indeed. is a grinder. My Lord's there. Oh, he's, he's, he's absolutely a grinder. He can, he can do this. He can do this. So yeah, we're not, hope is not lost. Yeah. But, I don't pull a single six to wound against the Feldrag <laughs> Elder either. And that's with my spears, which had like AP2. Um, mm. No, AP1, technically. Um, yeah, but sure. it doesn't matter what AP they are if I don't get any sixes to wound. I didn't roll no. a single six to wound. And I had quite a lot of attacks going into that guy. Because mm. um, I was like, you know, spears. So I think it was, what, uh, 12, 16 attacks? Yeah, 60, 17 attacks, I think I had. Sure. So yeah. I was expecting to hit a few sixes and maybe do a little bit of a damage. But either way, I was steadfast, I held, um, I reformed, and I faced the Feldrax. And that was because I actually fancied myself against Feldrax. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, um, they were great weapons, so I was attacking first. Admittedly, okay. I wouldn't get my spears because I'm on crude weapons now. Um, so that was a shame. But I quite fancied I'd doing some damage to Feldrax. Um, and I was I was quite hoping that I could trade my feral scoring for his scoring Feldrax, even though mm. the elder would get through the ferals. Uh, that was yeah. that was my thought. And I had this Iron Orc chariot lingering on the hill as well. I'm just behind. Uh, into Clusy's turn three, he charges in his dragon into the front of the orcs, which I I passed the terror. Um, Good. That might um, be. 
a good omen yeah for things to might, go might might be good omen i mean that one was the the seven um not i know it was it was minimized yeah actually, terrible. yeah yeah, yeah it's minimized um he charges in the Feldrax into the Ferals, so they're bringing it on. That's fine. And he charges the Chosen Knights into the front. I, I had to reform. I, I reformed my Metro Marauders, by the way, mm. so that the Chosen Knights were good. in the front. Yeah. Because um, okay. um, obviously in the flank, Ooh. that's not good. Um, no. But yes. I was, it's not I great. Just enough. Either way. Still not great. No, it's still not great. Yeah. Um, so that's that's going on on this side. And is anything going on on the other side of the battlefield? Um, apparently not, according to this picture. Um Oh, there you go. Yes, the he moves team his, uh, Yeah, barbarian horsemen come up, but they are scoring. So that they is are. one nil to me, folks. On the scoring, capture the flags. Ooh. Yay! Yep. So uh, he did have to sacrifice his horsemen. Um, again, he was kind of hoping that maybe one of them would survive, and then he could run it away. Um, but no, the wrecking teams were on point. He not fancy um, his chances here then. With his one up knights. Apparently not. Apparently, he didn't fancy it, and. Uh, I think that might have been similar to me, where he wanted his magic to be all on one sure. thing, yeah, yeah, rather than forcing. So we were both playing a similar game in terms of our our magic, um, but not it did trying to over overextend. Yes, pretty much, yeah. Um, but the elder does manage to get into the flank of my trolls, which I'm fine with. I don't mind. It doesn't actually matter to me what what flank the Feldrak charges the trolls. They're still going to beat him up. So yeah, you know. <laughs> Uh, over here, I, I do issue the duel um, with my champion uh, and, and die horribly. It does mean I'm down one discipline and I really try to pass this minimize six. I don't. <laughs> so all of those orcs leg it. Like, um, yeah, literally through all my units. Now, thank you for putting the arrows on. So this picture might not be the final story. Um, there was a rule thing that we had to get checked because I don't think the goblin chariots... So one of these units doesn't flee in that direction. Oh, um, okay. I mean, the orcs flee and go all the way into that corner. And that's not terrible because they're the scoring unit. Um, the dragon doesn't catch them. Um, so that's no. great because actually my scoring unit has actually got away. Mm. He overruns into my shame. Not so great because that's my source of <laughs> yeah. six of my spells. But I mean, I haven't played that very well. I should have just got in a position where I could flee the charge straight up. Sure, that's that's what I should have done in hindsight. Mm -hmm. You know, because I have caused chaos on my left flank here by doing what I'm doing. Um, because I, I do fail a good few panic tests as yeah. the arrows demonstrate. And um, things are fleeing from the closest enemy units. Um, I think the rules question we had, which meant this picture might be slightly changed in a minute, is does do the goblin chariots or do the units flee from the dragon after it's completed its overrun or before it's completed its overrun? Because technically, the dragon was closer to my models than where these arrows show. Sure. And... I think the answer was yes, the dragon completes its overrun, and then that's the closest enemy unit. So they end up going for ways. so they end up going in different ways. And I don't know. So that, that would have been for where, the boars, but not the goblins' chariots. Yes, I think so. Um, but we'll see, so we'll see. in maybe the next picture where they end up. No, maybe we'll have to hold that hold thought on that. But yeah, yeah we get we get something's going to happen. Um, <laughs> over here, the grind is on. I mean, um, so yeah, the, I mean, your boy it's did not bad. It. Grom it's Grongor. Yeah, Grongor and, and, and his one remaining dude, I keep bodyguard, which is huge in this situation. Yeah. So I think I do lose combat by a little bit. Um, not by much, actually. I think it's mainly Is champion a challenge? Uh, possibly, yes, with the chosen. Oh, not, not that it would overly matter, because they, they, their overkill would still be able to go in. But... Yeah, yeah. I can't remember. I can't remember if yeah. I'm honest. Um, but he has now got Ancestral Aid and Spectral Blades off for rerolls to hit and rerolls to wound on the Warriors. Uh, nice. Not the Lethal Strike version. Then. So I think sure. that's why he got them through because it wasn't Lethal Strike anymore. Mm. Um, but yeah, my, my, my dude is there. And like you say, I just haven't got the bodies to lose now on Barres. So it is a grind. Yeah. Uh, over here, I do a fair amount of wounds to those yeah. Feldrax. I killed did one and nearly killed a second. Reach? It must have. Yeah. Three yeah, did so, yeah, seven, seven wounds. wounds. Which was nice. amazing, considering, 
you know, I was wounding on fives. I mean, apparently I can wound on fives. I can't wound on sixes. But <laughs> wounding on fives still, is no still problem. Still didn't roll a six. But it was yeah. a five. And, so and, yeah. and AP zero. So Clues yeah. helped by bailing a few armor saves as well. Yeah, um, yeah, totally. Yeah, it was a nice little bonus for the Ferals. And like I say, I'm keeping those units like away from the main fight. And yeah, and they are like your throwaway so. unit normally. Absolutely, they? absolutely. Yeah, they're, they're there to die and cause as much damage as they can. Um, yeah, so this is how it ended up. So yes, the goblin chariots have fled off the board um, from panic, which is kind of sucks because um, mm. that's my witchcraft spells, and obviously we can see where my shamanism spells is currently. Yeah, facing down magic. Down. Magic's not long not, for this world. <laughs> no, not not ideal. Um, but the boar marauders, the feral marauders, did rally and ended up there um so their direction might have been slightly different i think technically the goblin chariots just fled off the board but in a different place okay. um than that picture showed so sure same result basically um but my veteran orcs do rally um on their discipline six um which wasn't minimized so well done to them because they could have kept running away uh, and that was a scoring unit so bringing all them part back of the plan in, all part of the plan and conveniently out of line of sight the elder so yeah, mm. all all coming up millhouse there. Um, the trolls leg it forward as well over there because yeah. they don't care about the feral looking at elder at all. Um, I put the Ironock chariot in to the elder because he's less scary than the dragon. Um, and what else is the Ironock chariot? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you know, and I was also thinking if I can get one of a few wounds off. Um, well, we're about to see how all that goes because that went rather well. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Um, Lots it went wounds. very well, in fact. I mean, I say very well. I have still got fleeing Verilox, admittedly. So who are scoring? Uh, who are scoring? Yes, mm. that's a problem. But they get away. Um, so you know, Clues has still got to use resources to get rid of them. And I do do another two wounds to the Feldrax as well, which isn't ba- isn't bad. So the Feldrax are hurting. But yeah. Look at those wounds to the Elder from the Iron uh, I mean, so It must have six wounds. How ridiculous. Impact oh, hits. I got I got impact hits. Well yeah. mental. Um the Elder was obviously killing Feral Orcs rather than the Iron of Chariot. I think um, I think in Ninth Age, Chariots are one of the few super swingy things still yes, in the game. Yes. They either like, do nothing or a whole lot. Yeah. Of them. One or six is massive in like Oh, they only roll hits. one or six on impact hits. They don't yeah. ever roll in between, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. But I was delighted with that because it actually might mean I, I grind out the, the Elder mm. and then f- threaten the Feldrax because they still have to do something with my Ferals. Um, so, yeah. I did put bring the pain on my Ferals just to give them a chance of doing more damage to the Ferals. But I think that was because I was only in range of them. Um, sure, yeah. Um, not not fancy a shamanism it. spell. No, no, no. Um, I, I could have done, but it doesn't make a difference, really. <laughs> Uh, it might be that he Thuzi only allowed me to get that one through. Yeah, yeah. Um, my lone veteran orc marauder dies um, as as he would um, to the onslaught, but my Gromgor is holding firm. Come on, Gromgor! Killing off lust warriors. Three so, yeah. more, three more for scoring. Three more lust warriors for another scoring unit, but that does mean I'm one scoring down. Yes, the ferals are still alive technically, so it's one one. One one. Yeah, the ferals are still alive. <laughs> the ferals are still alive. They're uh, running. But they're alive. He, however, is not. He's um, not. Yes, he's not. Definitely not. So there's that. Um, On to his the turn. Feldrax have disappeared, but I think that's uh, because he's reforming them after they go after the ferals. Are they um, reforming, or is he charging you off? I think he's charging me off. Is it, I didn't know. We'll come back to them it, later. Yeah. We'll come back to them later. Yeah, but they do what they should do. But yeah, don't worry about that. Uh, the dragon, meanwhile, has declared a new charge into the uh, Feral Lord Marauders, um, and he kills the champion. Um, has the he taken the two wounds? No, no, that's um, oh. his ramping up trophy run um, from killing um, things in, in jewels. So yeah. I'm be- be- beefing up the dragon, you know, as you do. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, did he not? I'm, I'm did he not for... declare a, cha- a challenge against the shaman? Yes, yes, that's why he's okay. on two. Um, oh, so before going into two. this, yeah, you yeah. don't have a champion. No, I do. That's the champion dying now. Uh, oh, did the champ not die in the la- in the last in the big unit? Oh yeah. Um, oh no, I think that's that's where it's yeah. That, it's funny actually. <laughs> so this is his second duel kill. I refused the duel with my shaman, right? Because it did. I I expected sure. to die anyway. So, so I was like, I'm not giving it. your dragon an extra 
yeah. the jewel plus one. So I refused the jewel and died in shame. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. But that's cool. Why would I ramp up the dragon? You know, whereas champions, yeah. I'm doing that to keep steadfast. So you mm-hmm. know, uh, and I do keep steadfast, and I think I hold. I might be wrong. Uh, anyway, these fell drags have indeed killed the ferals. That makes it two one to him. Mm-hmm. My chariot takes two wounds from the fell drag elder. Now it's actually attacking him, um, but kills it off the fell drag elder. Baby. Nice. Hey. I mean, you know, you can go great weapons on the iron ore. Love it. And it's your turn next. My turn next for a charge. Um, loving that. Ironhawk is literally holding this whole flank for me. Um, yeah, it's great. I, I do declare the charge, obviously. Um, quite fancy that. And we kill each other. <laughs> Fair play. Yeah, I mean, 210 quite points. Good to remove the models, but for 210 points, I kill the Feldrak and Cinder and the Feldraks with a little yeah. bit of the barrels. Um, yeah, I'll take that because my chariot isn't scoring. So that's 2 1 to me, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Think two yeah, two that's right because of fe- is it these two, ferals. Two? All, all oh the yeah, ferals these are... ferals. No, no, they're dead. They're dead. Okay. Very, very good. Yeah, two two. We'll call it two two then. We'll call it two two. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Um, his sorcerer is moving round um, in this, and yeah, Gromgor, check it out. He kills warriors. all the warriors. The last warriors three two to me on the scoring, uh, and starts grinding away at these chosen knights, and they have to start going into two by one formation mm. but i take two wounds yeah they do start they do, do start hurting me yeah. um you can see my neophytes have come on i didn't really have anywhere to put them they are scoring so i've technically got to <laughs> oh look after gosh. them a bit oh my goodness i know i was trying to like tempt him with something but it, let's face it if grim if Grumble goes down it's probably curtains anyway you can mm. see my trolls are moving forward they're coming in to help their general um, so, you know, I, I literally said, I don't care about you, Eldrak, in the rear. I'm coming to help my boss. Yeah. Um, so, there was that. Over here, Feral Marauders go down. That's 3-3, three, three, ladies and gentlemen. That's yeah. another scoring down. Does he charge? Oh, got two the scoring guys. left on the board. He charges into the veterans. Um, I think I had reformed to try and get as far away as possible, but we all know that's only going one way for those <laughs> veterans. <laughs> Oh yeah, um, I don't think we saw the what the warrior knights move up on their last turn. But they they avoided the trolls and then this, but they're here this now. game over for veterans. <laughs> yeah. um, so that's going to be four three, and I, I'm not sure we take a picture of their demise because it's almost certain. I don't think we even rolled it out because it was we were yeah. running close on time. I just said they're dead. Uh... And Gromgor went down, and he didn't really get another chance to. Killed the chosen knights, yeah, so they're sure. not actually that damaged. Um, Clues, he had a choice of where he was going next. Um, I think it is my turn next, though. So technically, I get the charge on them if I want it. Um, I do send the trolls in. Um, I'm not sure what the two wounds are. I think they must be two wounds that he's done to me from something. I think they're grim gores. They're left over grim gores. Oh, they're blood. left over. Yes, yeah. could well be. Yeah, Blood pools the rest on the ground. Yeah, exactly that. I don't put my neophytes in because that would be stupid. <laughs> so yeah, I, I think that if I charge the neophytes in the rear, I just give combat res to the chosen knights who will absolutely maul those neophytes and potentially get a combat res of 10. Um, I mean, admittedly, my trolls could be steadfast, but giving up neophyte scoring when I don't need to is... sure. I think is the is the thinking. I mean, yes, I get a rear and a charge. I already got the charge from the trolls to the front anyway. Um, I'm just thinking the trolls won't die to the chosen knights, so mm-hmm. that's that's the plan. Um, and also, if I can kill these chosen knights with my de- goblin demagogue and the trolls, then I actually even up the scoring as well and make it four four. Um, every single one of well, I think we had five each. And basically, he would have his warrior knight survive. I would have my Neo's fight survive. Um, so it'd be four each on scoring. Um, and I think with a charge with the trolls, I'm, I've got a chance of killing these chosen knights. Yeah, he's only got, got five wounds five left, or is it wounds? six? With a champion, I, I don't know. No, it's no, five. Champion no. doesn't get more. I think it's five. Yeah, it's three each. So I think I I charged in there thinking I can do this. Um, and there, uh, I guess. Um, in terms of the rest of the battle, everything else that's happening is just those veteran orcs getting killed in the bottom yes. corner. There is yeah, nothing yeah. else going on anywhere else. Uh, the sorcerer is hanging around for the warriors, but he's just safe from everything. He is, so, yeah. 
So yeah, Even let's the see what happens. Can't get um, him. No, because this is potentially a grind of how long it'll take me to kill the Chosen Knights, really. Yeah. And what happens, you ask? There was a bit of an issue. Basically, you do one wound. I do one wound. Oh, well, I do enough wounds to kill a Chosen Knight. Um, so I think, yeah, there was that. But it is after the Chosen Knights have attacked and he manages to do six wounds to the trolls, which is mm. quite good from even Chosen Knights, you know, because he's hitting me on fours. Fortitude. Uh, it's not flaming. He, he looks like is he, it Wasteland Torch? No, no, no okay. flaming involved. Um, he does have some re rolls off. You can see Spectral Blades in the background. So there mm. is that. Um, but he was, and he was strength six. So he was wounding me on threes, you know. Um, Potentially with re rolls, and I don't, I didn't let him get the lethal strike version off. Like, he didn't yeah. cast the lethal strike version because that would obviously be massive. Um, mm -hmm. I think he he weighed up the options here of casting magic on his chosen knights or trying to put a wrath of God behind the neophytes <laughs> because there was that, and none of us cast it, neither of us yeah. decided to use it the entire battle. So, sorry, Dan. Um, but um, he, he went with this option, and clearly it was the right option. It was, but yeah. I think the story is, is a little bit deceiving, because in order to not... I mean, you can see that the Chosen Knight has basically pursued and run down the trolls. And that's that's about 900 points in that unit with the Goblin mm. Demgog. I think it's about 800, 900, something like that. Also, his Chosen Knight survives, which is a scoring, which means he wins 4-3. But the real story in this and how this came to pass was the fact that he won combat by one, I think it was. And I was steadfast. But I wasn't minimized with trolls because they don't have no. that. That's only an orc thing. Um, the demagogue was eight discipline. I made sure I dispelled the um, Whispers of the Veil this was well, yeah. to, to maintain a leadership a, a discipline eight um obviously fearless so it was literally a, a steadfast eight roll and i failed it and it, because of that because of that i lost the objective i lost 800 900 points of unit and it was all on failing Big one <laughs> leadership role um, yeah. basically um but yeah we worked out the points because that was the final thing and um, Oh boy, did that final swing hit me bad. Because um, also, if I've passed that test, I will kill the Chosen Knight next round. Sure. Or at least I definitely won't lose combat, put it that way. Mm -hmm. um, so I probably would have drawn the objective and killed the Chosen Knights rather than losing the objective and losing the trolls and the demagogue. Yeah. So it was a massive swing by failing that steadfast test. I mean, Tom... Like Lucy was absolutely in his right to be delighted by that, um, because it was it was huge. It, it went yeah, his it way was. over mine. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's big points. But what a fun game! What a fun mm. game that was. It, it was massively fun. Um, you can see that the score was going his way in terms of victory points. Anyway, so it was going to be a loss for me either way. But I think we worked out. I don't know if this is exactly right. Um, I think we worked out that if it hadn't have been for that final swing. Yeah, it would have been in like a, a thirteen seven to Cluzy, sure. Um, with the drawn objective, um, so I think it was literally six victory points that swung by yeah, that final it. thing. And, and there might be people who can work it out for definite, but that was just what we thought of on the table. But it was yeah, put huge. it in the comments. <laughs> um, yeah, if you could, if you if you can be bothered to work it out yourself, then go ahead and do it. But either way. I start with a 19-1 defeat. Mm. Um, it yeah. didn't really feel like a 19-1 loss, that. I made a few less than ideal choices that I think in hindsight I could have done a bit better. But I also failed a lot of discipline decks in that, in that, in that game. Yeah, like, was, you know, um, Admittedly, I didn't I didn't plan for them very well by not having my general and my BSB around for a lot of the combat. But that's but a, also a that, problem with you know, that unit, isn't it? That's what... Mm. They charge off and they go off on their own, yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, technically, you know, the warlord has to be the general, so it's not like, what else are you going to do with him? I'm not going to put him with a small unit of ferals just for a discipline bubble. <laughs> yeah. um, Bunker. But yeah, yeah, exactly. It was a great, great fun battle, and yeah, Cluzy gets one over on me there, and, and mm. clearly, clearly this shows us 
the orcs and goblins are not as powerful as Saurian ancients. That's it, mate. Not that's, sure that's, I believe that's that. That's the takeaway from today. <laughs> So, yeah, absolutely. Temple Guard yeah. OP. Um, <laughs> if you there like you go. The, that's, the that's battle. round one. Yeah, uh, go. I didn't. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> the result. I really enjoyed the battle. It was great fun. Um, um, yeah, plenty more to come uh, on our channel. So like, share, subscribe. Do go on Twitter, Facebook, and of course the Patreon uh, as well. Mm. Uh, the Ninth Age Forum uh, is there uh, just in case for people. Uh, and. Um, yeah, otherwise, crack Join on. Us for round two. Lots of comments, please. Yes, uh, round two is next week. Uh, and yeah, well, I, back to my turn. Yeah, what did you? What was your battle one? It was 11 90 year, wasn't it? Mm, yeah, mm, uh, yeah, objective. Yeah, so you're a whole 10 points ahead of me at this stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Let's see how that closes. Throughout. Catching up to do, yeah, mm. or not. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Look forward to it already. We'll see yeah. what happens in round two. Yeah, man. See you later.